Okay, let's start. <laughs> well, you are a millennial, right? Yes. You know, it, it's really my passion to like uh, focus on the aging process or how we age and what is it, what's your opinion about that being the generation that you are? Well, I'm a millennial, but I am getting gray hair. I mean, I'm, I'm 34 years old, so I'm definitely starting to see the, the changes happen in my mm -hmm. aging where I wasn't as worried about it in my late twenties and everything. And now all of a sudden the past couple of years, things have started to change a lot more rapidly. Yeah. And so I'm pay starting to pay more attention and I'm trying to use herbs and natural supplements and things like that. Okay. And I'm just on Google, sometimes something will tell me that this prevents this from happening or that. So I'm, I'm trying it out and whatnot and hopefully it works. I don't know. But well, uh, uh, let me uh, ask you this question. Mm -hmm. What is it exactly about aging that concerns you or bothers you if that's the right word to, yeah, to, to um, use i don't know probably um probably finding myself appealing to the opposite sex that would that would be, that would be the, the number one thing i'd say is picking up girls yeah yeah otherwise what? i wouldn't mind I, I wouldn't really care why yeah. is it that a concern why 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 is it a concern or why is that the number one problem? Well, I think that, I, I, th <laughs> I didn't know we we're going to go this deep, but I... <laughs> <laughs> why not? Is that what you're going to say to your, uh, to your young kid or to the children? Oh, I don't you know, our, my concern is about, about aging is how am I going to attract the opposite sex continuously? Huh? Huh? Well, I, I just, you know, I, I don't want to, um... Well, of course. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a guy. I, I think that... All so, my... okay. Let, let's find the wisdom in that. Okay. Why is it... Why is it really important? Actually, yeah, we can we, we, we can uh, dive into that even even more or deeper. Why well, is I, it I have a... that that particular <laughs> issue comes to your mind that in aging, yeah, that's an important thing, well, I, attracting I the I, opposite I, sex? Yeah, and I think for women, it's the same thing. I think women do way more to prevent aging with aesthetic things and in all these different procedures. And, and, and men don't usually, they usually just kind of start relying more on that. Like, I don't know, personality. I always joke, I'm like, oh, I'm going to rely more on my personality. And so it's a good, good way to focus on that and try to work on that now. <laughs> but, okay, why do you think it is that important? I mean, I'm going to say something, but because I just of, because want of, to, to, to get more out of you. I mean, well... Personally, I think that it's instinct. It's, it's, an instinct. Anim it's like an animalistic instinct to be attractive to the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. For pro procreation is, is something that is, is instinctually a part of us. And, that it's, it's, uh -huh. and in my opinion, cultures... Um, <clears throat> so I was reading up on, on uh, somebody, I, I believe it was like Jordan Peterson, and he was talking about how cultures and through society, mm -hmm. like there was a difference between polygamous cultures and monogamous cultures and the monogamous ones lasted longer and lived longer because of that structure yeah. because of of having a family raising a family and mm -hmm. and going in that way it just yeah, it helped yeah, yeah. help the culture become stronger whereas polygamous ones they had issues because mm -hmm. the problem is is that men and women are different in the sense that we're, we're, we're more animalistic than people realize, you know, at the end of the day. We, mm -hmm. we have all these things we've created, but mm -hmm. we're still animals. If the lights went out and everything, everybody mm -hmm. we would see how quickly we come back to our instincts. But throughout history, men always choose women on a horizontal line, uh -huh. whereas women choose uh -huh. men on a vertical line. It's yeah. kind of like the reason why, like, women will all go after Justin Bieber, but uh -huh. no guys are going after... Britney Spears, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll, they'll go after all the women on stage, but okay. like, you know, but, but like all the women want that one person. So women go after a vertical where men go horizontally. So there's a different yeah. concept instinctually between men and women of appealing to the opposite sex. Okay, but if you go to, why is that? I mean, why is it, uh, what's really the reason behind why we go with that person or the that opposite set my personal, insti instinctively oh, my personal belief to that is is because women have to bear a child and men have to spread a seed so what you're trying to say is really you know it's um, instinct 
and not only that, what I'm getting from you is it, it, it's it's like about life, how you gonna continue life. Mm. And so when you are concerned about uh, attracting the opposite sex, you're actually thinking about sex yeah. itself. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So I mean... what is it about sex? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you say things more eloquently than me. I'm like talking about, you know, I'm like, I'm like, we're all animals, you know. But it's a, but you have, you have a, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know. To me, like, probably you're not thinking about it uh, at, right at this very moment. But you know, sex is really the energy. Mm -hmm. It's like the divine, divine energy mm -hmm. that keeps us alive. And and you see, the, that's the reason behind. Even if people don't realize that. Uh, it sounds like superficially, you know, he's very concerned about uh, very superficial stuff, you know, attraction between sex or whatever. But, you know, that's the sex behind because it is it is the energy that keeps you going. It's mm -hmm. basically the life that goes into you. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm getting from you. Well, that's, that's, the behind. that's the truth. Like, I know, I see, I hung out with a guy named... John Anthony West, who is it? He passed away now, but he's an Egyptologist. I got to spend like a week with him, and uh -huh. I, I followed, or not a week, about three days probably. And I, uh -huh. I, I follow, I carried his slides for him, so I was doing his slides. Uh -huh. And he talked about he reads petro, or he reads um, hieroglyphs and, yeah. and everything. He has special access to the pyramids, or he used to, and <clears throat> and so he uh, in those in those. Uh, hieroglyphs it was showing the Ankh and he's talking about the Ankh mm -hmm. and how the Ankh is actually like a red it's a similar to the idea and even in Hindu cultures and so on yeah, where yeah. they talk about that recycle of energy it goes up and then through and uh, then back around again yeah. and the Ankh is even created to make that same resonance where it goes through comes back around and that that key, it, an Ankh will actually yeah. ring longer yeah. it'll vibrate longer than a mm -hmm. than a normal straight line mm -hmm. and because of that that recycling and so they use that kind of You're ideology. talking about the sexual energy yeah right. it, yeah mm -hmm. and and it's so they use that kind of ideology in in that that way as well because it the goes kind of goes in through through oh. the sacrum and then out through you know or i think it goes this way maybe and i can't yeah. remember which way it, it goes, it, it, it's you're talking about the chakra <laughs> right 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 so yeah, but yeah in cultures it's, they it's, talk it's, about that the energy going it, it sexually too like with uh -huh. all these different modalities and stuff i don't know a whole lot i honestly I, I don't know a whole lot mm -hmm. about that specifically as far as... I never really read much into it, but he was talking about it from the hieroglyphic standpoint. And even mm -hmm. Egypt, in Egypt, they were... Okay. they were Those mm -hmm. were ideologies that they carried, so... so. Well, actually, I have to see patience. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to continue this. It, it It is very interesting. So, this is just the first time that we're doing this, but uh, I like it. I think the energy is uh, is building up, so... Well, I have to see patients, so I have to end this for now. But we're going to be back. Yeah. Mahambe. And... No, Mabuhai. Oh, Mabuhai. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's the thing to that, you know, sex and Mabuhai. Buhai is life. Okay. Buhai is life in, in Filipino, in Tagalog. Mabuhai is, you know, that means let's all come to life or let's welcome life. Good life. Oh. Good life. Yeah, yeah, good life. So, <laughs> well, I have to see patients for now. And this is Dr. Villa and this Stephen, Stephen, Stephen DeHart. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye.